bit. Mm. Yeah. Compensation might just make life a little less awful for Helen Jeffries. She's been caring for her daughter Zoe for two years with precious little help from the health service. The family of Claire McVeigh, just 15 when she died, went through a similar nightmare. We're going back to see the department on Wednesday and uh, I, for one, intend to make sure that we move on a pace with that because people are dying today. We all saw the video the other day of Zoe and uh, who cannot fail but be touched by that? They need help now. They've waited long enough. The government has based its decision on the no-fault compensation scheme for people with haemophilia who contracted the AIDS virus through infected blood clotting agent Factor Eight. There were 1,200 of them and they've received more than £70 million. But ministers are refusing to compensate nearly 5,000 haemophiliacs infected with hepatitis at around the same time, before Factor Eight was heat treated to kill viruses. Many will go on to develop cirrhosis and liver cancer and now they're renewing their claim. Colette Wintle is one. There are 120 who have died with hepatitis C virus and sadly that has gone unrecognised and those families have not only not received any sympathy from the government but any redress for that and the knock-on effect to their families has been huge and um, all of that needs to be addressed. My fear for myself is my future, if I have a future. The Department of Health and Health Ministers uh, have continually refused to respond to our plea for some form of financial assistance. When the government recognised the plight of the haemophilia community and set up the HIV financial assistance scheme, they did that on the basis of compassion and on moral grounds, never addressing the issue of negligence or fault. All we're saying is that the same principle still applies today to those also infected in the same circumstances with hepatitis. It's understood that when civil servants initially advised against compensating the families hit by variant CJD, they had the hepatitis case in mind. The Department of Health now insists that the CJD offer is exceptional and they will continue to fight the hepatitis victims in court. The problem is they've agreed compensation in two exceptional cases, variant CJD and haemophiliacs with AIDS. It may be difficult to refuse a third.